believe you me, this is a big turning point for us. From the depths of 2019, that general election, back on track. We've changed Labour and now we're seeing the results of that. It has been a day of celebration for Keir Starmer and Labour in the 2022 local elections. They have made significant gains so far, as have the Liberal Democrats and the Greens. You see, the Liberal Democrats are winning across the country again. West Oxfordshire, Cameron's backyard. We took Hull off the Labour Party. We are winning across the country again. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson has been forced to accept that it was a tough night for the Conservatives, as grassroots Tories blame him for the big losses. There were concerns about cost of living, there were concerns about people watching porn on, on, on their phones, there were concerns about Partygate indeed. Partygate has kept some of our voters at home today. Our postal votes were fine, but people have not wanted to leave the House to vote for us at the polling station. Two years ago, he won the largest Conservative majority in a general election since Margaret Thatcher. Now, he has lost Wandsworth, her favourite council, and Westminster, which had been under Tory control since its creation nearly 60 years ago. In England, most of the results are in. As it stands, Labour have named 1,629 councillors. The Conservatives have more than 280 losses, while the Lib Dems have gained the most seats of any party. The Tories did manage to grab some new spots though, and Labour haven't made major gains outside of London. On a visit to Ryslip this morning, the Prime Minister insisted it isn't quite time to return to the drawing board. Uh, we've had a tough night in some parts of the, of the country, but on the other hand, in other parts of the country, you're still seeing uh, Conservatives going forward and, uh, and making uh, quite remarkable gains uh, in places that haven't voted Conservative uh, for a long time, or if ever. According to early results in Scotland, the Scottish National Party seems to be on course for an 11th successive victory. Labour is making gains, but the Conservatives are starting to show further losses. In Wales, early predictions suggest Labour and Plaid Cymru are making some gains. Again, the Tories are losing their grip on a number of councils. Results are still coming in for the Northern Ireland Assembly. Sinn Féin and the Democratic Unionist Party are vying for the top spot. It has been predicted that Sinn Féin could win their first ever majority in Stormont. Based on today's results so far, pollsters predict that Labour could win 35% of the national vote share at a general election, while the Tories would take 30. Pundits say this points to a hung parliament. The final results of the local elections are expected soon.